chick. All right, here we go. I'm going to take you through a crash course on the most sinister disease known to mankind, mankind's oldest rival. This disease was first described in ancient Chinese texts 2700 BC. It was described as waves of fevers and chills. And during the Second World War, this disease killed more people than all the battles of World War II combined. It's thought that over half of all humans who ever lived died of this disease. Humanity's arch nemesis, malaria. People used to think that malaria was caused by bad gas. Right? So you just stood next to the wrong person and you got malaria. Right? Malaria, Italian for bad gas. But since then, we've come a long way. I'm going to tell you about five Nobel Prizes that have been awarded in the past hundred years in developments in the battle against malaria. Five Nobel Prizes. Do me a favor, I'm going to need you to call out some numbers here. Repeat after me. One. All right, first prize, 1880, Alphonse Lavaran, army doctor from France. He's pouring over blood samples, digging through the blood, and he figures out malaria is not caused by bad air. It's caused by this parasite, this nasty little worm thing that lives in your liver. Super gross, right? Two, repeat after me, two. <laughs> Camillo Golgi, same guy that your Golgi body and your cells are named after. He realizes there's not just one malaria parasite, there's four different malaria parasites. And he gives them these nasty names, right? He calls them falciparum, which means infectious. And he calls them vivax, which means alive, which is exactly what you are not going to be after you're infected by malaria. Terrible. Prize number three, repeat after me, three. three. So the next thing that happens, Ronald Ross is exploring around and he's thinking, I don't know where these malaria things live. Because the other dudes, they were looking in the mud, they were looking in the swamp water, they had no idea where these things were. So he does this weird experiment with birds and mosquitoes and he figures out that malaria is teamed up with humanity's other arch nemesis. Those little fuckers. <laughs> mosquitoes, man. They working together. Just to prove his point, right? He writes to a friend in Rome and is like, hey, can you like find some people with malaria and have some mosquitoes bite them or something? And then mail the mosquitoes to London. So he sends the mosquitoes to London, right? And then the mosquitoes bite these two incredibly unfortunate study volunteers. And what do you know? Those guys got malaria. Great news, right? He wins the Nobel Prize for Medicine, too. <laughs> prize number four, repeat after me, four. four! Next thing that happens, we're trying to kill off these mosquitoes, right, to control this. So this Paul Mueller guy, start of World War II, goes through some grad student papers, and he's like, this weird chemical that everybody ignored turns out to be hella good at killing mosquitoes. What chemical was he talking about? DDT. DDT is still the most powerful insecticide we have on the planet against killing mosquitoes. Problem is it kills other things too, like, you know, birds and babies. So we stopped using that. <laughs> we moved on from there. Nobel Prize number five, repeat after me, five. five. Just last year, the first female Chinese scientist was awarded the Nobel Prize. <laughs> Hells yeah. She discovered using traditional Chinese medicine and a new extraction technique that you could create a powerful drug against the malaria parasite using the sweet wormwood plant. This woman came out of nowhere in the 70s. She had no post-grad degree, no research experience abroad, no membership in any international or national science academy. And she came out of here, developed artemisinin, the most powerful weapon we have against malaria, used in only the most severe cases now. Now that sounds pretty darn good. We've come a long way since then. But the fact is, we still got a long way to go. Just last year, half a million people still died of malaria. And more than 200 million were infected. During just this talk, five children died of malaria. One, two, three, four, five, 
So what are we going to do? It's going to come down to one of you, one of you brilliant minds, to be badass number six and join us in the battle against our oldest arch nemesis. Thanks, everybody.